Last week Saturday, I was here at home. My parents, my parents came back from night vigil from church, a healing uh, night vigil. And my mom was very tired, so she fell asleep, and I was still awake with my pops. So while I was still awake with him, I decided to give him a hug and tell him that I love him. He told me that he loves me too. And no matter what we've been through and all the achievement that comes my way, he'll always be proud of me. What really hits me is that I never thought those be his last words to me. And I'm busy hearing that he was this, he was that. No, he still is. He always will be. He'll always be a king. He'll always be a best friend, an uncle, a grandfather, and most importantly, a father. Even when you're going outside, he doesn't want to be seen as a celebrity. He always wants to be seen as someone that knows how to put a beautiful smile on everyone's faces. That's even the reason why I decided to call him Pops. Not because he was a father or he's getting old. Call him Pops because it's like he always pitches a balloon in front of everybody's mouth and every time it pops, there's always a smile on it. Anything he says it will always make you feel better. If you ever have a problem and you always go to him, he always has a solution. So what I'm asking from everyone just from today is that if you ever run into a situation and you don't know what to do, just ask yourself, what is that this say you should do and just take action from that thank you uh Dumbala. yeah i never thought this day would come so soon this guy was the most humble person i've ever met in my life he was sweet he was kind he was funny there's no person who'd support you like Silo. this guy was there for every single occasion that i went through he's there's no other words that we can say that he was, but he, he left us too soon. It was too soon. But his legacy lives on. I've never been so shattered as last year we were celebrating his wedding. It was a happy moment. We even did a surprise birthday for him the following year. speech for my father last night I titled it the greatest human I'll ever know I could stand here before you all and make a speech about how my father taught me how to be a man but I feel like that is expected from a father instead what I will discuss today in regards to my father is what he taught me about humanity according to the dictionary Humanity can be described as the quality of being benevolent, humane traits of character, humane qualities and aspects. When I look at my father as a person, the one thing that sticks out about him is his kind nature. My father was someone who always tried to put a smile on everyone's face, whether that would be me or Zamu on our moody days, or a cashier at spa he always had something funny to say I never told him this because I never wanted it to get to his head but my father was one of the funniest people I ever knew yes he repeated a lot of his jokes but they worked somehow some way a joke he told me in 2008 still worked in 2023 he expressed his kindness through entertaining people and made sure that every interaction that he had with them, he leaves them either laughing or smiling. And in that, there was an eye-opening lesson that my father taught me without ever broaching the subject. The greatest thing we can do as people is ensure that every interaction we have with one another leaves the other with a slightly better view of life. It doesn't always have to be life-changing but it can make the next few minutes of that person's day a highlight. 
Now, I will talk about Silumutlou as a father. The biggest thing I will miss about my father is the presence that he had in my life. Losing him just reminded me how much of a boy I am. How much of a boy I am who still needs his father to hold his hand, to guide him through the path of life. There's so much that he was present for in my life. From my first days at school, to school concerts, for every flight I took to the Western Cape for school. So going forward, I asked myself, how will I move forward when I have to go buy my first car, house, get married, and even the birth of my first child, but that one might never happen. But I'm glad that I will not be walking this alone, on this journey alone. By blood, I was my father's only child. But through our journey, through life, we met some people who changed our lives. You gave me another mother and two brothers. I still have your brother and my cousins to hold on to. So I want you to rest easy and know that I'm in good hands. You were someone who had big dreams for me, you and our family. I will carry those dreams on my shoulders and try my best to see them through. I will take on the qualities you had as a person, infuse them with my own, and carry on living in a way that would make you proud. For now, I know you're there with Nkhono, and I know that you're in safe hands with her. So just reminisce about the good old days, catch her up on everything that's happened so far, and just watch over us. I have always lived to make you proud, and I reassure you, not even death will stop me from doing that.